Here are my first impressions of Wistoria, Wand and Sword. So this anime is about Will, a student at a magic academy who can't do magic. However, that doesn't make him helpless as he's honed his body to contend and surpass his peers through rigorous training in the dungeon. In other words, he built different. And he does all of this so one day he can stand beside his childhood friend again and watch the sunset. Wistoria also has some really good world building sprinkled in there, and in a way that the explanation of the educational point system, informational lore dumps, or even characters' names don't feel like information that is tactlessly dumped on us. People will probably compare this anime to Mashal primarily because the protagonist can't use magic, but I think this one will be slightly less comedy focused. The most interesting part of the anime, however, has to be the way that the show does scene compositions, by using a dynamic range of types of shots to visually engage its viewers. The anime is a joint venture by Octus and Bandai Namco Pictures, Octus having previously made Classroom for Heroes, Princess Principal Crown Handler, and Girls with Panzer, and Bandai having previously made Birdie Wing Golf Girl Story, Raven of the Inner Palace, and Welcome to Demon School, Irama Kuhn. Wistoria also shares the same director as Long Riders, Monster Masumi, and Yatterman Knight. Every season, there's an anime that surprises me with how good it is, and between the impressive scene composition, emotional weight, and interesting story pitch, I'm pretty sure the one for the Summer 24 season is Wistoria. So undoubtedly, Wistoria, Wand and Sword, is an anime I'll be watching.